So in this video, we'll be covering the value of money, also known as best buys and which is better value. Now this topic looks at making a purchase from a choice of options and seeing which is better value. Now which is better in reality goes beyond price. There are other reasons as to why someone may opt for one option over another. So for example space or whether you can store uh, buying things in bulk or not in bulk or buying the larger one or buying the smaller one. Convenience of how far away the store is to how far you have to travel to get it or delivery times. Shelf life if things are long in life or whether they're about to expire. Make a model, you might have a preference over what make a model or design clothes, clothing you might want to wear. Design might have an in fact and also recommendations, rating, reviews and also conditions to name a few. However in maths we decide which is better value, uh, better by its value for money. And you want to get, obviously you want to get more for less or want to get the same for a lower price. Now when calculating which is better value you can choose between two calculations. Now the first calculation is working out the quantity amount per one pound. And that's basically just comparing how much you get for one pound and the other one which is the price per quantity. Now if you go to any supermarket what you tend to find just below the price they will display this blue sort of amount by price to make it easier for shoppers to make that compare because there was a thing a couple of years ago where a lot of supermarkets were getting scrutinized for overselling an option that caused created more profit for them and not for the consumer so by law they have to have this comparison to make it easy for you to compare so they have this little thing on the label that has the price per quantity and next time you're in a supermarket i honestly do recommend you check that out now either way you must make sure that the units for both the quantity and the price are the same now this is different to how much you're getting that doesn't need to be necessarily need to be the same but the units do need to be the same so for example if your quantity is in kilograms and grams you need to convert it so that they're both the same so you can't have a mixture of units and same thing with the price either your price is in pounds or it's in pence now a good tip is when dealing with money which more often than you are with this particular type of questions i would always convert the pounds into uh, always convert the pence into pounds rather so try and always deal in pounds and convert it so even if it's like 19 pence convert it into pounds it makes it a lot easier when dealing with the numbers and always check before you even perform any calculations that the units are going to be the same because obviously by doing that early just avoids you making any silly mistakes later on now in terms of the formulas that you need to make a note of in your notes well you've got as i said there are a choice of two possible notes um, formulas that you can use now the first one is the price per quantity now to use this all you have to do is divide the price by the quantity and that quantity could either be how many you you're getting or the actual units of what you're getting so for example you might be paying two pounds for uh, a pack of six packet of crisps or you could be buying um, one pound twenty for 120 grams so the quantity can either come in actual physical how many you're getting or it can come in weight or measure now the second calculation you can use is the quantity per price now for this what you have to do is divide the quantity of how much you're getting divided by the price and like I said if you do the price in pounds basically what you're working out is how much you're getting for one pound so let me just make a little note of that so if price is in pounds then what you're working out is the amount per pound now although there are two different types of calculations there are actually two different opposite conclusions that you get to decide which is better value so for example if you do price per quantity so the price goes above then you'll find that the better value is the number that gives you the smallest answer however if you're doing quantity per price so basically you're working out how much you're getting for a pound then obviously the larger number is going to give you it will give you the better value now it doesn't matter which formula you use as long as you're using the same one for all options so you just need to make a decision when you're working that best value are you going to use the formulas in pink or are you going to use the formulas highlighted in the blue now again don't use a mixture of the two but also equally make sure that you remember how to draw your conclusions because they it can go horribly wrong if you get the two things confused now me personally speaking i would usually go choosing one or the other I would usually go for the blue option of quantity per price and then therefore whichever number gives you whichever calculation gives you the biggest number that will give you better value but again it is important that you do understand both options because in some cases in which we'll go through some examples some questions may insist 
that you use one calculation over another. So let's have a look at this first example. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this without the use of a calculator. Now, without the use of a calculator, what you need to try and do is get the units the same, like get the quantity the same. So here, what you need to do is you need to find, now first of all, let's check to make sure that the units are both the same. So both cans are in litres and both prices are in pounds. So that's all going well. Now, in terms of the non-calculator method, what we need to do is we want to try and get the same number of litres. Now, if I buy, so what you've got to do is you've got to think to yourself, okay, what number go, appears in the five times table and the two times tables? And your answer there should be 10 litres. Now, imagine if I'm buying 10 litres, and we'll see which one is better to get. Now, to get 10 litres of the big can, I need two of them. So I'm going to have to do two times £3.40, which works out to be £6.80. Now for the smaller cans, I'm going to need to buy five of them to make 10 litres. So I'm going to have to do five times 1.6. And that works out to be eight pounds. So you can see here that actually, which one's going to be better value, which one's cheaper? Well, it's going to be the big can. So here, the big cans are better value. Now, if this was a calculator paper, then what I would do is I would use one of the two formulas that we previously mentioned. So for the calculator method, what I would do for this is I would separate them by having the big can. So again, I'm going to do the quantity, which is five divided by the price, which is three pound 40. So typing that into my calculator, five divided by 3.4 gives me an answer of 1.47 and it's a really long recurring decimal in which I don't really need to write loads of numbers I'm just going to write the first four after the decimal point now for the small can now what I've actually worked out in terms of this is I get 1.4705 liters or one pound that's what I've worked out by performing that calculation again it's liters per pound I'm doing the, pr the quantity at the top so here is the liters here is the pounds. So what I'm working out is liters per pound, liters per pound. So for the small can, again, it's the liters, which is two divided by the price. And again, two divided by 1.6 on my calculator gives me an answer of 1.25. And that's liters per pound. So again, which one is the cheaper option? Which one am I getting more? for the same amount. So obviously here, by looking at this, I'm going to get more by going for the bigger cans. So again, drawing the same conclusion, the big can is better value. So moving on to the next example. So here you can see that the first thing I want to do, so here I'm looking at two spaces. I've got a big, a big tube and a small tube. Now, in terms of the quantity, they're both in milliliters, so that's absolutely fine. Now, the price, however, one is in pounds, the other is in pence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the 75 pence and I'm going to convert that to 0 0.75 because I need to make sure the units are the same. So looking for the big tube, which I'm just going to call it. Again, that's the quantity, which is in milliliters. So it's 50 divided by the price, which is 1.05. And I type that into my calculator which gives me an answer of 47.619. And what that's told me is milliliters per pound. If I do it for the small tube, now in terms of big and small, I really should be calling it the 50 mil and the 20 mil. I shouldn't really call it big and small, even though one is bigger than the other, because I don't know if that is the big tube, there might be other sizes. So again, looking at this, we've got 35 divided by 0.75. And again, I type that into my calculator, 35 divided by 0 0.75, and I get an answer of 46.6 recurring milliliters per pound. So which one's better value? Well, it's going to be the larger number. So here, the 50 mil tube is better value. And there we go.
And moving on to the next one. So here I've got three particular offers I can potentially go for. We're just going to assume that all the apples are the same quantity and quality. So again, what we need to do is now you can see here that the units of each of those three options are all different. So I need to decide, right, am I going to work in grams? I'm going to work in kilograms. Now, looking at as two of the three units are in grams, it makes more sense for me to convert the top one into grams. So I'm going to convert that to 1,200 grams instead of 1 1.2 kilograms. Now looking at the price, I've got two, two of them are in pounds and one of them is in pence. So I'm going to convert the pence into pounds. So it'll be 0 0.14. So in looking at three options, I've got the one point, oh, what should I say, the 120 grams or 1,200 grams, I should say, which is going to be the quantity, which is 1,200 divided by the price. And again, I'm going to type that straight into my calculator divided by 3.89. Uh, it gives me 308.483. Now, again, this number does carry on, so I just start by writing the first three numbers after the decimal point, and what that's told me is how many grams I'm getting per one pound. Then, if I look at the second option, so I've got 700 grams. So, again, I'm going to do 700 divided by 2.14. And again, type that into my calculator, and I get the answer of. 327.1028 and again that's grams per one pound and the final option which is the 50 grams I'm going to do 50 divided by 0.14 so 50 divided by 0.14 and I get an answer of 357.1428 and that carries on grams per one pound. So then I've just got to decide which one's better value, which one am I getting more for the same amount? Well, that answer is going to be the bottom option because that's the biggest out of the lot. So my final answer for this is that the 50 grams of apples is better value. Now again, you might think, well, it's, there are several reasons. More often than not, people always think if you buy big, you save more, which is often true. However, the obviously the supermarkets and the shops want you to spend more money, so they give you a little bit more. They need to give you some incentive. So, but again, with these mass questions, don't automatically assume and go with common knowledge that if you buy big, it's usually cheap and better value. It might not be the case, particularly with these mass questions that appear on your homework or your exam. So in this next question, it says that sweets are sold loose or pre-packed in 120 gram bags. The 120 gram bags are £1.49 each. The loose sweets are 89 pence for 100 grams. By calculating the price per gram, determine which is better. Now in this particular question, it's actually told me how it wants me to calculate this. So I need to do the price divided by, per means divide, by the weight. So again, I'm going to need to check, are the units the same? Well. In terms of weight, they're both in grams, and the price, they're both in pounds. So that's going to be absolutely fine. So looking at the uh, pre-packed, and again, I need to do the price, which is £1.49 divided by 120. Now, if I type that into my calculator, uh, 1.49 divided by 120, it gives me an answer of 0. 0.012416 recurring and what that's actually told me is the price per gram so I'm actually working that it's actually going to cost me uh, a tenth of a uh, well I would say just over a pence per gram now looking at the loose pack uh, shall I say yep loose I don't realize it's a pack so it's just gonna be loose so here I'm looking at the price, the price which is 0 0.89 divided by the weight, which is 100. I'm going to type that into my calculator. So 0 0.89 divided by 100 equals, and it's going to be 0 0.0089 and per gram. So for this, I'm looking for the smaller out of the two numbers. And which one's smaller out of those two numbers? it's going to be this one here. So which is better value? The loose sweets are better value. 
Now, like I said, me personally, I'd much prefer to do the other way, so you're not dealing with these small numbers. I'd much prefer to work out how much you're getting for one pound, so you're not having to deal with complicated decimal numbers. But because this question specifically said the price per pound, that's why you need to do the cost divided by the weight. And that's why when you're doing that order, the lower the number, the better value it is. When you're doing the reverse of that, so you're doing weight divided by the cost, the bigger the number is your better value. So moving on to this next question. So it says that perfume is sold in two different size bottles. The 80 ml bottle is priced at 55 pounds. The 55 ml is usually priced at 45 pounds, but there's a special offer if you buy one 50 ml bottle of perfume, you get the second for half price. By calculating the price per milliliter, determine which offers better value of money, the 80 ml or the two 50 ml bottles. So first thing we need to do is looking at the two, are the units going to be the same? Well, for the 80 ml, they're both in milliliters, so that's fine. And the price are both in pounds. So here, if I look at the 80 ml offer, for our 80 ml, and that is going to be 80 divided by 55 and by working that onto my calculator 80 divided by 55 it gives me an answer that I'm getting a 1.4545 or 4.5 recurring milliliters per one pound now with two 50 ml bottles so 50 ml plus 50 ml now one of them is full price which is going to be the first one which is 45 pounds plus the second one which is going to be half price and that's going to be 22 pounds and 50 pence so working out the total capacity that's going to be a hundred mil divided by the total price which is going to be 45 plus 22 pounds 50 which gives me an answer of 67 pounds and 50 pence so working that out again let me just put the units in so I'm going to do 100 divided by 67 pounds 50 and that gives me an answer of 1.481 and they're recurring milliliters per one pound so here I'm seeing which one am I getting more for one pound well it's going to be the bottom offer so therefore which one is better value the two 50 mil bottle offer is better value but again is it a good offer that depends do you need to buy two bottles are you buying it as a present have you only got 50 uh, let's say 60 pounds to spend in which then you, you kind of determine of which one you need to go for but again with maths logic and all the factors go out the window it's all about the value of money so it's a case of which one is better per pound or which one is cheaper for the mills that you're getting or the, the weightage that you're getting or the capacity that you're getting now we'll put some practice questions in the description below for you to practice everything you've learned and to obviously have a practice of these types of questions that are very very popular when it comes to final examinations